Hey everyone, we're going to talk about how to hit a golf ball solid and specifically we're going to focus in on the trail wrist. And I'm going to give you an awesome drill to help you use that trail wrist properly in the golf swing. But before we get to that, if you're enjoying this free content and you want to see more, when the video is over, please like, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and comment. Okay, so the first thing we need to go over is we need to identify what's our trail wrist. So for a right-handed golfer, the trail wrist would be the right wrist. And for a left-handed golfer like myself, it's going to be the left wrist. And the reason we call it trail is because when I'm swinging a club right-handed, it is the wrist furthest from the target. And when I'm swinging a golf club left-handed, again, it is the wrist furthest away from the target. Now through this video, you might hear me refer to uh, a couple different movements that the wrists make, and I want to clarify that for you. I want, you to, I want to help you understand that. So the first one would be flexion. And that's when I just take my wrist and I turn the palm towards the ground and you can see how I've, I've bowed the wrist. So think of Dustin Johnson at the top of his backswing. That would be a wrist inflection. That would be more his lead wrist, not his trail wrist. But I'm just talking about uh, wrist movements right now. Neither, I'm not really referring to trail or uh, lead at this point. And then the other thing we have is we have extension and that's when I cup the wrist and notice my palm is pointing more to the sky. So those are really important to understand and as we go through this video I'm going to talk about the wrist movements and what I see day in and day out on my lesson tee that's not proper and then obviously get you into using them properly so you can hit the golf ball solid. So let's talk about the swing fault that I see day in and day out that would lead us to want to look at our wrist angles and, and what our wrists are doing in the golf swing. So I have people that come to me and they have all sorts of different grips. And at the top of the back swing, some of them are in a perfect position. That club is at a 45 degree angle. Some of them have the club face open. Some of them actually have the club face really closed. But here's where it, they differ from tour players, the, the people that I see and teach every day. Is when they start their downswing, they open the club face. So you can see how that toe is starting to point more behind me. The toe is pointing to the sky. And what we see with tour players, and you see everything with them. Some are a little open. Ernie Els, Webb Simpson. Some are in kind of a perfect position, if you will, and, and when I say that, the face very square at the top of the backswing. This would be Adam Scott, Tiger Woods, the list goes on and on. And then you see some that are actually closed. Dustin Johnson with that lead wrist, very flexed inflection, which we described at the beginning of the video. But what they do is they actually close the club very fast in the downswing. So those that are really open, close it a lot and very fast in the downswing. Those that are square, you know, a medium amount of closure. And then the, those that are closed are just giving a little bit more uh, flexion to that wrist on the downswing. But when they get halfway down in the downswing, you can see how the club face is pointing more to the ground or the golf ball. And this lead wrist, right wrist for me, left wrist for a, a right-handed player, is pointing more to the ground because remember those mirror each other. If I get that to the ground the club face is as well. And as I've already mentioned I, I've given fixes as far as frisbeeing that lead wrist to get you that club face stronger. And let me back up a second. So I talked about tour players closing it really fast in the downswing. Well that's an expert move. So what I do with a lot of my students is we just prepare for that. And the way we do that is we take the club back 
in a little bit more closed positions to give us a chance to get in this nice, I wouldn't call it closed, but, but much more st a stronger position in the downswing that in turn will line us up for impact. So you see when I have that club face pointed to the ground or to the ball, my right wrist is now to the ground more. Well, if I face you and then I run that to impact, there's my flat lead wrist, forward shaft lean, I'm de-lofting the club, all the things that if we've studied golf at all, if we've read golf magazines, if we've watched the golf channel, we know are proper. Okay, so that kind of helps us understand what should be going on, what tour players do, and I've already given you a solution with the lead hand. Now one thing, or the lead wrist, now one thing that I find is that I, I would be an exception here. Most left-handed golfers are left-handed. I'm actually right-handed. And most right-handed golfers are right-handed. Not all, but most. And when we talk about the lead wrist, we're actually having them do something with their non-dominant hand, which a lot of people get it. It's not a big deal. Um, but some people it just it, it doesn't feel right and they have a hard time getting it. So what I've done is I've come up with a third way to deliver getting this club and in, in the club face and the wrist in a stronger position at the top of the backswing that we can deliver the club and line it up properly for impact. So before we get to that way and we talk about the trail wrist, let's just go over the the other two ways very quickly and and one I've I've already referenced quite a few times in this video already and that's that lead wrist and the frisbee lead wrist so if I had a disc or a frisbee in my hand and I'm just curling it up getting ready to throw it that gets that lead wrist in that really good position and I have plenty of videos that talk about that you can you can find those the other way is I can just control the club face. I can take it back closed. I can keep it closed at the top. And this, this is the important one. I cannot stress this enough. In every video you watch, I talk about this. I say the same thing and I stress this. Is returning it back to that strong position in the downswing, not letting it open. All right, so we understand that. Now, let's talk about a way that we can do it with the trail wrist, which for most of you here is going to be your dominant hand. So the left-handed golfers, it's going to be your left hand. Right-handed golfers, it's going to be your right hand. So what I'm going to have you do, I'm just going to put my club down here for a second, is most all of us have a, a, a cell phone anymore, whether it be an iPhone or an Android. But I want you to get it, and I want you to put it in your dominant hand. And I want you to put your other hand or, or your trail hand and I want you to put your lead hand behind your back and what you're gonna do here is when you get to the top of your backswing you're gonna show me the phone so notice what that does is it puts my trail wrist in extension well if my trail wrist is going into extension guess what my lead wrist is doing it's following and it's actually going into flexion so instead of talking about that frisbee wrist I'm just focusing more on show me the phone. But let's drill down a little deeper. Let's look at it in the different stages of the backswing uh, to make sure that we get it in this good position, especially that third one on the downswing. So halfway back, you can see I'm pointing the phone to the ground, and I have a lot of people tell me that their left or right hand, depending if you're left or right handed, feels like it's more on top of the club or on top of the grip when we work on this. So you can see halfway back I'm showing the phone to the ground. Top of backswing I'm showing the phone to you, the face of the phone to you. Here's the, the, the big one, don't forget this one. Most important of all is halfway down I'm pointing that face of that phone to the ground again and then I can line it up. You see how I'm maintaining that extension in my trail wrist for impact which is going to give me forward shaft lean. So that's with the phone. 
showing the phone and a lot of my students arrive at you know what I'm gonna feel a little bit of frisbee wrist and I'm gonna show the phone and that's quite alright it can be any combination of these three things I've gone over or it can be just one like hey I, I get that show the phone I can feel that I can do it it's practical and I'm hitting the ball instantly better so let's do it with a golf club now so again halfway back I'm showing the phone to the ground so you see my my left hand or my trail hand is more on top of the club now I'm showing the phone to you and now halfway down this is the big one and I'll get to the, uh, more about this in just a second you can see my trail hand is on top of the grip again and the face is pointed to the ground or to the ball and then from there I can go ahead and line it up properly for impact now what I want is I want that last position that third position where the club face is pointing to the ground or to the ball and that trail hand is more on top of the grip so if you go ahead and rotate it open but are able to deliver it back in that position so create that expert move that I told you that tour players do that's how Rory McIlroy turns an eight iron into a five iron if you're able to do it that way that's great the goal is I want to get it here so like another drill you could do if the if showing the phone if the frisbee lead wrist isn't quite doing it for you is just make your regular backswing to the top and then halfway down make sure the back of your lead hand and the club face is pointing to the ground and your trail hand is going to be more on top of the grip so let's give this a try let's I'm gonna kinda of walk you through it one more time uh, and then I'm gonna hit one and I know all of you out there that are watching this video it's gonna help you to hit the golf ball more solid now if I overdo it one thing I might see for me is I might see the ball go right because I've got the face a little too strong but it's gonna be really solid so if you see a lot of weak left this is this is going to help a lot all right so here we go I'm going to show the phone so halfway back I've got the phone to the ground top of my backswing I'm showing the phone to you halfway down I'm showing it to the ground again and then into impact so let me give this the best try that I can so very solid shot lower trajectory for me because remember I'm, I'm turning that face down I'm strengthening that face so I have more forward shaft lean I'm taking loft away from the club face and so that ball is going to launch a little bit lower and if you create enough speed it's going to go further but the important thing is that it was solid so now you understand how to use the trail wrist to hit the golf ball more solid I gave you a very effective drill of showing the phone and understanding where that phone should be pointing in different parts of your swing and then we reviewed what the lead wrist should be doing and also another way that you can get that club face into a strong position so one of those or a combination of two or three of them is definitely going to help you hit the ball more solid so I hope you've enjoyed this video I have two more playing here right now that I promise will continue to help you improve your game and remember please like subscribe to my YouTube channel and comment